a makeshift memorial outside a thrill ride in Orlando, honoring 14-year-old Tyree Sampson, who plunged to his death here almost a month ago. That's just so sad that that happened to him. A preliminary investigation now shows Sampson's seat was not secure, saying 27 of the ride's 30 seats had harnesses that closed down over the shoulders to a rider's waist, leaving a 3.33 inch space. But the adjusted seat where Tyree Sampson was directed had a gap more than twice that, 7.19 inches. A bystander recorded Samson slipping under the restraint as the 430-foot free fall abruptly stopped from 75 miles per hour to zero. <laughs> Only 14 years old, Samson was big, six foot two, 383 pounds. State officials say the ride is designed for passengers only up to 250 pounds. They directed him to the heavier seat so that they could have all comers and and. Uh, Sometimes, unfortunately, people put profits over safety. And you think that's what happened here? I don't think there's doubt about it. A family attorney shared this photo with NBC News showing height requirements, but no weight restrictions. He was a very good, charismatic young man. Tyree Sampson's father has only spoken publicly once about his son's death. I want to know what happened to my son. Icon Park says they're deeply troubled by the findings in this preliminary report. Investigators now say they've prepared subpoenas to find out who made those changes and why inspectors were never notified. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.